Hello and welcome back to Mordheim, City of the Damned. After last week's horrible, horrible round with terrible misplays, even though we completed the optional objective, it was honestly quite atrocious and like a train wreck to watch, I imagine. Uh, we're going to try and do things better. So we're going to go for another hard mark for death. Uh, it actually sounds very similar. Uh, wide arc from their wagon is perhaps the only difference, rather than being close by to each other. Yeah tightly around their wagons uh, but that's only a normal actually it's got the same sort of loot quality it's an easier thing but no we we like the extra xp that we get for being on a harder difficulty um yeah so injuries wise we've got um milo is out at the moment and so is Molpadia. uh velasca is on the bench i could bring another person out actually in her place maybe i should do that Melusa, do you want to come out? Yes. Scouts have reported a rival warband in the vicinity. Before you can find them, a heavy fog settles over the ruins. Unable to pick up the enemy's trail, your warriors deploy from their wagon and spread out to sweep the area in search of your foe. Um, I've no idea who a video is um, but I think they're the undead so I'm really hoping this is just not another case of hang on a minute I thought I thought we were supposed to be in a wide arc it is the undead this is so strange how, how do we also have this building as a deployment option we're supposed to be in a wide arc from well, game probably has some secrets and things that I don't know about yet. Um, let, yeah, let's have everyone in this ridiculous building to start with. Facing the back. Sure, we need some people to be in worse positions. You can be upstairs at least. Maybe not all the way up. How about here? Yeah. Santipe, front and center. Cleat. Uh, yeah, alongside Aristomachy, yes, at the back, that's fine. Polymusa, yep, that's good. Area Bayer, uh, can you actually get down from there? Yeah, close enough. So I wonder if they know, like, whether or not they've got similar sort of, you're actually really close to us type things. There's all the weird stone, there's more weird stone. We don't actually care about those, um, not in this particular match, but... And this is always the but. Greed is good. So grab as much as you can and then hoof it back over. Why do I only ever get the uh, restore 10 wounds when I'm not actually hurt? Always seems like that's the case. And the positive light effect for melee resistance when we're never going to be in melee. Not not this early anyway. Um, come back in here. Yeah, you can get through there. That's good enough. So, I wonder who a video is. Uh, Necromancer, maybe? Could be their leader, I suppose. We're likely to want to focus on using Toxaris to take them out then, I suppose. Toxaris. How about you see if you can see anything past this building? No, you can't. Abs oh gosh, it's up there. Well, mm, that's yes. I should I should really know these maps better by now. I don't think there's any way to get up there without needing to do some massive jump. Like there is no set of stairs that will take you up there. So everyone that's in heavy armor is going to suffer. Toxaris is probably the one person that isn't going to suffer massively here. But the smallest climb is over there, 
and the equivalent on the other side for the little staircases. Uh, at the moment, this is probably the best place for Toxaris to be because she can stand here on Overwatch while we wait and see if they actually come to us. And waiting for them to come to us is going to be our best call here. Which I suppose means I may as well send uh, Xantippe over to pick up the rest of that. Weird stone. Just for the first turn anyway. It's not worth sending her after all of the rest of it. That seems a bit too far even for me. And then come back. Yeah. What is our chance to climb with our dodge base people? 80%. That's okay to have a look. Thanks. That just really showing off why you should not bother climbing at all ever in this game give it one more try any sign of them not yet might be worth me just waiting here because i can jump down again and again it'll only cost like 10 yeah just wait here don't don't even go on ambush though uh let's just do perception failure nice Really good. Uh, Aristomachy, you can come over. This is the wrong way. You can come round. There we are. That's where she is. So we want to be in a similar position so that when she comes down, we can have everyone mob them at the same time. Polymusa. You're coming down, and I'm going to send you over this way and see what the lower climb chance is. 59% with that heavy armor. That's not great. Um, give it a go, though. Sort of scouting out both sides. There's someone. All right. Um, yeah, let's let's wait here. I'm gonna wait here on ambush because I can retreat and jump down if I need to or want to. Uh, Aria Bay, I come downstairs and come over this way. Also going to be sent up, I imagine. A new round has started. Slowed him down a little. Here's the ambush. One on one Polymusa should be fine here. Oh yes, especially now. Fantastic. Uh, Melissa, where were you? You're there. Okay. Could possibly go and climb up. Now that we know that some of them have come from that direction, I'm ah suddenly instantly regressing coming all the way up here. Not really a huge amount to do. I could go on Ambush Stance, which is, I suppose, one of the better options. But if I wait here, they might not engage. We'll find out in a moment. Are they going to whip out a bow and just shoot me? Is they just going to stand there? Toxaris, reload. Uh, yeah, just take shots. Um, two vital shots, I think. 
here. That is some solid damage. Reload. Do another vital shot. Look at that critical damage. That is insane. Uh, reload again. And then I'm going to jump her down because we're going to be repositioning her soon. Not this one. This one. Slightly better position by like an inch. So I'm going to bring her over this way to climb up there to help, I think, rather than up this middle section. Oh my goodness, that is not fair. Wow. That was an insane amount of damage. And straight into a stun as well. Alright, Zantipe, can you get up here at all? 57%. Um, let me just double check what 4 Sigma does. Increases movement range by 3 meters for one turn at cost of two things. And I don't think I can do it on myself. Sorry, if I just run all the way back to where I just came from. No, I can't. Don't be a trap, don't be a trap. I don't think I could climb up this one. No, I can't. So the best I can do is get up here. Which I failed. I'll try again. This is now like a rescue mission. And I don't think she's going to have enough angle to actually get into this. Oh my god, that's so close. That is not, again, not fair. <laughs> Coming around here does not get, get me a charge angle. Man, that is... That is just... That's an arse is what that is. Um, ponder, ponder, ponder. I suppose the best thing to do is to move here. Go on ambush stance. If anyone else comes there going to have a problem. Aristomachy, you can get up and you can come and help. There's not a great chance to help, admittedly. Best thing to do is uh, get a charge on from here like this. Failed on the terror test. But we got a hit. And now we get to dodge. So the terror is going to make it really, really hard for us to engage moving forwards. Again, trying to get a charge while still maintaining our defensive options. There we are. There's the charge. Fail on the terror test again. But that's okay. We hit again. Ah, terror means that we can't actually do our sidestep. It's okay. We'll just do our regular dodge. Now, the Necromancer. What's he doing? Is he just standing still? Yeah, he seems to not care. Polymusa. Get this finished. Loot that on the way past. It's probably not worth doing healing circle, I think. Like, if Melusa gets hit at all, she's going to die. It's probably more worthwhile doing Sigmar's Might.
And just buffing everyone. Light ambush stance, I suppose. Oh, I'm so sorry, Melissa. Area Bayer. I don't think there's anything you can do to help, is there? But especially if you can't climb. Yeah, get as close as you can. Go on ambush dance. Maybe if we're super lucky, Toxorus will started. be able to go. F yeah, Toxorus is going first. Oh, Melissa technically goes first as well. Any chance you can get out of this? No. Well, get an attack done. And then get your yeah, sidestep on. I'm crossing my fingers for you so much here. There's the guy that we've uh, got targeted. He's slowly making his way over. Okay, Cleet now has an assault on another side to deal with. Here come the zombies as well. What I need to do is get Toxaris up there. And get her to get two shots off. Is she reloaded at the moment? I think she is, yes. Do not fail this. Oh, God. What is wrong with this? Like, it's an 80% plus chance for so many of these ones that have failed. I don't mind the damage. I mind the fact that it takes an extra strategic point to do. Okay, now I need to move a little so I can get sniper shot done. 65%. It's a little bit of cover because of my ally. Let's move around a little. There we go. It's now 80%. That's okay. My critical hit chance is only 16, which is not great. We've only got shot left. It was close. It was really close. <gasps> Come on. Just just waste all of your everything. <sighs> Melissa's still alive. Ah, Melissa's still alive. <laughs> what do I do? Was not expecting this. Um, Alright, Xantipo, you can... You can't get into that fight, I don't think. Re really don't think so. I'm going to try anyway. Come all the way around here. Is there enough? No, there is not. Okay, get back where you came from. You can focus on this bastard instead. So you're going to get a charge. Uh, no, if I just walk you in, you get four attacks. Three attacks. Uh, then Web of Steel. We haven't had a chance to use this yet. Should be good. Cleet's failed her terror test, so she can only dodge. Aristomachy's failed her terror test, so she can only dodge. Polymusa. Let's, uh... Is it worth... <laughs> Is it worth healing circle? Possibly. Probably not, still. Sigmar's might. Let's buff everyone. And then we're going to get into combat with that ghoul as well. Three more hits.
My last up, Area Bayer. Who I'm bringing over really now to just look after Toxaris. A new round has started. Okay. Zombies still coming in. Melusa. Oh, come on. Validate. Revenge. That is fantastic. Good work. Now, I don't even want to... Uh, I like the look of these things. Um, do I like them more than a word stone fragment? Probably. Hammer of Conspiracy is less useful, but still quite valuable. Um, I might swap it for the Weird Stone Shard. Can have someone else pick up another bit. Yeah. Right. I don't want to jump her down because it's potentially going to kill her from the falling damage. So I'm going to move her around here and hide her behind this wall. <laughs> so uh, just go on dodge. I suppose I could have sidestepped, I think, actually. Combat savvy for the Dreg, or whatever his name is. Oh, he really didn't move very far at all, did he? Toxaris, reload. Uh, it doesn't really need to be a vital shot. It could just be a regular shot. Missed. <gasps> Reload. Fine. Sniper shot. Sure. Toxaris is kill stealing again. Reload. And advance over here to loot what you can from Vasil von Bundabad. That's a pretty awesome name, I have to say. Uh, Fredek looks like he's stuck. That's fine. We don't care about that. Zantipe. You going after this guy now? I think that might be a good idea. Is there anyone waiting to ambush you around the corner? No? Okay. How about getting him to ambush us from a bad position? Like here. Overwatch shot. Oh, he's actually got a bow out. Wait. Did, it, did he miss? Yes? Honestly, I have very little idea what just happened. Um, cool. Let's get our charge in. That way we can still web of steel. Counter-attack's fine. Don't care. I'm going to hit him in his bald spot. Aristomachy is feeling better. Which means she can get a nice charge on. Uh, if I could do that faster, then I can still sidestep maybe. No, that's not going to happen. That's fine. In which case, I should probably go for the long side. Like, oh, it, oh no, I definitely need to at least have one dodge. So, do it from here. Yeah. Cleet is still scared, so she's not going to be doing much this turn. So, just move forwards to here and dodge. Closer to the fight, able to distract them a little. That's... Why is that not catching? Oh, it is. Okay. No, that's fine. Pretty certain those zombies are going to be un-AI broken in a moment and come round and swarm us. But that's fine. 
most concerned about the Necromancer, I suppose. Area Bear. You can stop with your protection duty over there and start with it over here. Corpse Flesh. Reload. Corpse Flesh. Dodge. A new round has started. Yeah, let's not have you join in this fight. Oh, At least we resisted the stun, but... Getting critically hit is just... It's awful for the sisters. It seems like this is our main weakness. Ironic, considering I've been building everyone to be critical hit people. Um, yeah, side, side step. I can get somewhere safer and sidestep. Now I can't be shot at least. Um, I suppose dodge, yeah. I mean, I also can't retreat now, but that's that's, that's okay. Frenzy. Haha, -ha, you missed. Ouch. My face. Haha, -ha, you missed. Ah, uh, the zombie. Okay, not actually getting involved. Sniper shot now takes... Oh, uh, thanks. Whip. Well, perfect. That's exactly what I needed. So I can just do two regular shots, I suppose. Two aimed shots. And reload. And another aimed shot. That's... I, I have no words. Missing missing so much Toxaris. Zantipe. Let's get that token, shall we? Objective completed. And, uh, get involved here. Since he wasted himself going on ambush. Now, these, um, the zombies aren't actually worth anything morale-wise. But they do still count for XP if you can take them out. Which is what I'm aiming to do here. That stun's going to make it far easier for us. It'll mean that like Aristomachy can back off a little, get a charge that will definitely hit. Nice 84 damage. Uh, then she could sidestep, or she could disengage and go and try and do something else. Um, I'm actually just going to sidestep here. I'm anticipating that they're going to um, route very soon. Polymusa can come and finish that zombie off. Acts of Defiance. Sure, I'll take it. Then get involved in a charge. Uh, I suppose I'll buff. Let's buff ourselves up. Spreading the love. In the form of hammers. Ooh, they have passed their route test. Good for them. Warp overcharge. Don't know what that does. We'll find out shortly. I'm doing it twice, though. Doing it thrice. Maybe it just makes my casting worse. Whatever it is, he really, really wanted to make sure that it happened. A new round has started. There's the parry. Nice. And a dodge. Well, miss. Same thing, really. It's 
So, Melissa, yeah, you can just sit back here and hide. I could send her out and look for like more uh, Weirdstone, um, but picking some up sometimes hurts you, and she's on such little health at the moment that I think that would be a terrible, terrible plan. Uh, let's do a vital shot over here. I could do two vital shots at this guy. Yeah. Start doing some solid damage down the other end of the field. Reload. Do another vital shot. And dodge, I suppose. Xantipe. Uh, what was Polymuse's warp overcharge? On second turn start, 30 to 35 damage. Gathering a weird stone removes this debuff. That's interesting. I mean, it's not interesting enough for me to care about. I'm just going to send Xantipe up to try and kill this guy. Uh, yeah, four attacks if I just walk into combat. So let's do that. If I had walked around him... Uh, would have prevented the ability for him to disengage since there would have been this post in the way. Um, but I think he might go down very soon. Oh, especially now that he's stunned. Haha! <laughs> Bring someone else over. Uh, I could just disengage now on myself, actually. Oh, no, I can't. I guess that post is stopping me. It's fine. Cleet, you're feeling better. I'm so pleased. Can you... Um, any chance you can actually reach this guy? Yes. Oh, would you like to? Good work. Very nice. Uh, Aristomachy. Um, sure, come over for the zombie. Well, that's wasted his dodge at least. Probably just going to be pretty cut and dry for the rest of this. We'll get like two more hits. Probably take him out. And then I think they, uh, yeah, that was their last person. So they were all just dead. Hurrah! Ooh, two master formula. Ooh. Very interesting. Xantipe as most valuable warrior. Well, I suppose yes. I mean, Toxaris is often the person that does the most damage. Um, but no, yeah, really, really glad that Melissa didn't go out of action. Blessed are the triumphant, for in them shines the glory of Sigma. Yes, that was that was good. So Toxaris, plenty of XP, very nice. She's going to be ten in no time. A light wound for Area Bear. That's what getting critically hit does, even if you don't get stunned. Remarkable. Also rank seven now. Very nice. Uh, Melusa, just a light wound. Good work, like, surviving all of that. Especially as it all came from the initial charge. Gosh, that was nuts, wasn't it? Uh, Cleet, very good. Xantipe. Possibly my favourite person in this whole warband. Like, more so even than Velasco, I think. Polamusa. Very good. Remarkable. And lastly, Aristomachy. So, yeah, we're starting to get a lot of rank 7s amongst our, our um, general members, which is nice. Now, what two formula did we get? Ooh, a purple Sigmarite Warhammer. That's definitely going on Polamusa. Soldier of... Soldiers? Nice. Uh, soldiers is ballistic skill and weapon skill, I think. So it's kind of about 50% of the way there for what we actually want. Um, it's armor uh, enchant. Uh, surprise, we saw before, is overwatch and ambush damage, which is eh, it's okay. Um, 
yeah, most of this stuff is just okay. That Sigmarite Warhammer is the most exciting thing here. Alright, let's uh, pay everyone's treatment. Let's pay everyone. Sell things that we don't care about. Hammer of Conspiracy, for example. The Mace of Fury is nice. Um, probably not as nice as the other stuff that we've got. Uh, might keep it around while I think about it. Get rid of the bow. Get rid of the axe. Get rid of this other hammer. And the dagger of speed. So, Polymusa, how do you fancy having a weapon that does about twice as much damage? Yeah? Not only that, it's got a greater critical hit chance and it'll help you cast spells better. What's that? Best day ever? Yeah, tell me about it. Uh, what could we put on it that would be useful? Surprise is not. Perseverance is also not really. Fury is perhaps the best thing that we've got there. Although expertise is also semi-okay. No, I think we'll hold off until we've actually got a worthwhile enchant for that. Alright, what do we want stat-wise for you, though? Uh, a little bit more toughness, I believe. Uh, yes, that's all going in toughness. And then more weapon skill here. Uh, let's have a look at enchants, actually. Uh, can't do any on this thing here. Yeah, soldiers is weapon skill and ballistic skill. Rogues is agility and accuracy. Oh, rogues might be useful for my novices, actually, then. I mean, it's certainly the two things that they need most, I suppose. Accuracy is nice. Weapon skill would be nicer, I think. But I do really... I, I'm loving the critical hits when they go off. It's just... A, it feels a little unreliable, you know? But yeah, maybe I'll start putting rogues in chance on the clothing... Uh, anyway, in the meantime, you get a bit more strength. Uh, you get another intelligence. You get, say, two intelligence? Sure. And a bit more accuracy. Uh, Milo, you're injured. Yeah, don't care about you. I mean, obviously we care about him, just not in that way at the moment. Uh, Anaxilia. How do you not have a helmet? I guess I've just not actually got enough helmets. I mean, I knew I didn't have... I, I thought there was just like one missing, not three or four. Molpadia. You can have the Mace of Fury. That's why I was thinking about keeping it around. It's because I remembered that someone had a mace at least. And I suppose it is... Yeah, it is the best thing we have available at the moment. When you come back from being injured, you'll be very happy for that, I'm sure. Yeah, with her one leg missing, I'm wondering if there's any enchants that increase, like, movement speed. Hmm. Something to look into later. Panther East, still using the Sigmarite Warhammer because of the Divine Wrath bonus. We still need more of these. Uh, in purple would be ideal. Um, but yeah, to come later, I'm sure. Toxaris. Uh, what were we saying for you? Like, 5, 12, 11. A little bit more accuracy at the moment then. And then under this, 6, 9, 12. You're finally done on your mental stats. Telepilea, nothing going on. Area Bear. A little bit more accuracy. And then, gosh, under here, 6, 9, 9. Let's get your intelligence up finally, and alertness goes up a little, and a little bit more toughness, I believe. It's going to be like, what, 10, 11, 6, eventually. Uh, Melissa, a bit more strength, a bit more leadership. Melissa actually is our weakest in terms of gear. Still got a helmet though, which I suppose is something. Uh, cleat. A bit more strength. No. No. Toughness now. Was it? 9, 9, 10 for novices. Yeah. Xantipe. Yeah, that rune of surprise is not going to be beneficial enough for me to consider here, I don't think. 
Knights is possible. Soldiers is possible as like a temporary thing. Squires, I think, is better. Really, we want accuracy, but I'm wondering if it's worth throwing something on in the meantime until we actually find it. I've no idea how long it'll be until we get accuracy. Could, could even just throw weapon skill on there. While I'm thinking about that, though, uh, we want 12, 8, 6. So you can have a little bit more toughness. And then uh, 1299. Wait, we're already at 1299. I have obviously miscalculated something. Well, in that case, um, I suppose a bit more stun resist. Always useful. Yes. Maybe that'll end up being 12. And I think, are we actually round through everyone now? I think we might be. Uh, Tech Messer, I notice. I'll, it's just using the Sigmarite Warhammer. Although it's, like, it's nice in its stats, a Blue Mace of Havoc is better. It's still got the critical hit chance boost, um, but rather than uh, bypassing the dodge chance it's got the hit bonus and of course it does more damage so you can have that there lovely all right i'm gonna send some cash off some weirdstone off to get cash i should say uh we'll send it off to the brigandsburg not a huge amount I'm gonna send off i'll just take myself down to like 14 of each There we are. I like keeping about that much in reserve for when we get asked for shipments. Um, but at the same time, I like money coming in from stuff that I send out. Now, we're not going to start anyone training at the moment. I'm also not going to enchant anything just yet. Uh, let's just see what happens overnight. Okay, Panteriste is almost finished in her training. Milo is better. Molpadia is better, and Velasca and Anaxalia have finished learning their two skills. Awesome. Two people are currently injured, and we've received some cash from the shipment that we sent through, which is awesome. I'm really looking forward to spending some of that cash. Um, but that's going to be the end of this episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have and will be joining me for the next. Remember to like these videos if you like them, and subscribe to my channel if you've not already. I shall see you next time for another day in more time. City of the Damned.